Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can track Elementor form submissions using Google Tag Manager and sending them to Google Analytics. So without further ado, let's dive right in. First things first, you have to make sure that Google Tag Manager is actually installed on your WordPress website and is connected and is sending data to Google Analytics. If you've missed the tutorial where I connect Google Analytics, it will be popping up right now on your screen in one of the corners. Other than that, a very quick run through how you can actually install install or connect Google Tag Manager to your website is very simple. You want to click the unique code of Google Tag Manager, just click it, and then you will be greeted with the following pop-up where it will tell you where to insert each and every code. And then you'll be able to test it right in this option. Now, the very most simplest way that I can show you how to do that is basically going back to your dashboard and heading over to Elementor and then custom code. And you will want to paste it right over here. As you can see here, Google Tag Manager, body tag, Google Tag tag manager and you'll be able to see the instances it's on my entire site and then under the location body start and head just follow the instructions right over here as you'll be able to see in each of every of these points and then you're good to go just check it over here and you're basically done other than that google analytics i won't bother you with that just head over go watch this tutorial and then come back to this one but other than that we'll continue now a quick explanation what is actually form submission is basically telling google tag manager what action do i want to send to Google Analytics or to any other platform, specifically to Google Analytics in this instance. But what happens is that Google Tag Manager, I'll be able to tell him based on some parameters, what you would need to send when it happens. So in this case, we're dealing with the form or the form submission on our website. Specifically, you've probably seen this form on some of my videos on my channel, if you're familiar with some of the videos that I post here on YouTube. And you'll be able to see that when you inspect the form, specifically, I will click inspect you'll be able to see that on this form if you click this icon over here and you just inspect it you'll be able to see right over here don't worry there is nothing to be scared of it's just plain html if you're not familiar with it the only thing that we'll need here is basically going to the form then you'll be able to see that we have the id so basically what we'll need to do is we'll need to tell google tag manager listen when this form and only when this form with the exact id is been submitted, then fire the tag. Now, firing a tag in Google Tag Manager is basically telling, okay, this happens, good. You're good to go send information to Google Analytics or do whatever I told you to do. This is basically in a nutshell. That's what it does. Next up, you'll be able to see that we have form ID value. That's fine, but we can also define, if you're not familiar with it, an ID or a specific unique identifier for the form with Elementor. Now, if you're not familiar how to do that or you don't know how to to do that so in my case i will open the editor with elementor and i will show you where you would want to configure the form id once the editor has been loaded you want to select your form just by clicking it or by just clicking the pencil icon right over here and you want to scroll to the bottom or over here and then head over to additional options and here you want to select the form id and then just name it whatever you want to and as you might be able to see the name over here form id contact underscore us you'll be able to see that the same thing will apply if we'll have over back over here and we'll inspect the form and we'll be able to see that the name of the form or the id of the form is corresponding to contact us and this is what we'll be doing in the google tag manager when i'm here in the google tag manager what you want to do is head over and click new when you're under your tags over here and then you want to name your tag. So specifically mine, something like Google Analytics form submissions and contact us. The name here is again, Google Analytics, because I'll be sending the data to Google Analytics, then form submissions, and then contact us because it will be my form for contacting me or my client or what have you. Now, the next thing is tag configuration. So here you want to click it, and then you will want to head over to Google Analytics and head over to Google Analytics GA4 event. And then here you want to paste your measurement ID ID. In this case, it would be the Google Analytics ID, or you can just specifically click here, the variable button over here, and then we'll be able to see that we have choose a variable. Now, what you want to do is head over to the plus icon right over here. We'll add a new variable or we'll create a new one. And here you want to name the variable. So it will be Google Analytics for measurement ID. And then under variable configuration, you want to click it. And then you want to head over and click the constant right over here under utilities. 
and we're able to see here we have the value so the value would be here our google analytics measurement id or our google analytics unique code in my case it would be this one and then once you're done head over click save and then it will be saved as a constant google analytics for measurement id google tag found in this container it means it's valid and then you're good to go and then here under the event name you just want to put a name which would be the name of the event it could be anything of your sort but just make sure that you understand what it is in my case it would be something like contact us sub short for submission in my case after that what you want to do is head over to the event parameters and then add a new parameter and then here you want to just type content and as you can see here we have our content type just type it over here and then under the value you want to put form and then add a new parameter and then here you want to put item underscore id and then here what you want to do is head over to the variable over here and here you want to head over not to one of these variables and head over to built-ins on the right top hand corner and then just click it and be able to see here we have choose built-in variables so in here what you want to do is send the form id over here just click it and then it will fill it up over here and the next thing that we want to do is head over and scroll to the bottom over here and then click triggering and over here we want to trigger our form submission so what you want to do is head over again to the right top hand corner of your screen click the plus icon and then over here what you want to do is set up a new trigger so in this case it would be form submission contact us and then just click the trigger configuration then here under the user engagement just click the form submission and then here we don't want to track all our forms so we would want to click the sum forms and then here the form id leave it as it is and then contains and contact underscore us and then that's pretty much it for this part then just click save and then we're good to go head over save the tag just click the save button over here and then we're good to go and we'll be able to check our tag right now. So head over, click preview. And then here we want to check it on our website. So paste in here your website URL and then just click connect. That will open up a preview page where we'll be able to see all what is happening on our website and then try to submit our form. As you'll be able to see here on my URL here, we'll be seeing your question mark, GTM debug, and then the number of the debug. As we will see here, we have also the tag assistant connected. As a side note, if you don't see the tag assistant, which might happen if you have some Chrome extensions, which will block some of the ads on your browser, what you want to do is head over to the extensions over here and then just disable them. As you can see here, I have ad block, I have the Malwarebytes browser, and then the uBlock origin. So you want to make sure that all of them are disabled because otherwise we won't be able to see any tags are firing over here in the tag assistant as we able to see here. So we have one of the tags is firing Google Analytics for page view which is great because then it tells me that page views are being sent to my google analytics property now we see here we have tags not fire google analytics for form submissions contact us which is logical because we haven't submitted any form so in this case we'll head over back to my website and then we'll enter the url where the contact form is being held once we are on the page that we want to track our form submission you want to just pre-fill the form and try to submit it so let's try to submit it and then we'll be able to see right over here in tag assistant our form submission has been fired because because we have our form submission has been submitted. And if you're not sure what actually happened, you'll be able to just track down what happened over here under scroll depth. We'll be able to see that when we scrolled, nothing has fired. Scrolls, nothing has happened. Form start, we started filling our form. Nothing has happened. Form submit, then our tag has been fired. As we can see here, Google Analytics 4, form submissions, contact us. And if we'll head over to the overview, both of these tags has been fired. And once you're done, you wanna head over and just close this tab, this tab, tab and then you're good to go with your google analytics tag of form submissions just don't forget to click the submit button over here and then just fill up the changes that has been made and if you're not sure where to find those submissions or to be sure that the event is actually sending it through your website to google tag manager and then google analytics what you want to do is head over to your left sidebar and head over to reports and then over here you want to head over to engagement and then overview or events but usually it will be under overview and then it will be over here event and count by event name and it will be displaying right over in this box and then that's pretty much it you're good to go with google tag manager sending your form submissions to google analytics and yeah that's pretty much what i wanted to show you in this video if you like this video i'll be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that i post on wordpress elementor woocommerce and other cool plugins and integrations with wordpress and as always i'll be seeing you in the next one